So Lent used to be a time in which, um, in the early church, people were prepared for baptism. And so it was a particular time of um, spiritual devotion and practice that was leading to uh, folks, well, dying with Christ and being raised with Christ. So that's, if you look at our, uh, the vigil on Easter, you really get the sense of like the larger tradition that is coming up to this moment, um, the remaining with Jesus in the tomb, and then being raised to new life on Easter. And so that was a time, that's why we do baptisms on the, on the vigil after the Lent. Um, what I think it's helpful for now is, well, if you're preparing for baptism, that's great because then you're tied into the ancient tradition. But I also think it's, it's a time in which we can go a little deeper in our own uh, discipleship. And so I use Lent as an opportunity to um, either add a practice that I might want to try out for to see if it's spiritually valuable or to subtract something, you know, like people give up things. The goal of giving up or adding a practice is not just self-improvement. It's more of, if I take this thing and decenter whatever this thing is, or center this thing, will it draw me closer to God and to my neighbor? Or will, is this something that maybe is not the right fit for me? Um, so I see it as a workshop almost. Like could be a workshop for, for spiritual maturity. And, you know, it's 40 days, so it's got a good biblical number, uh, matches up with a lot of, you know, times of testing in the wilderness, things like that. 